Welcome to BB's Bookshelf. Today, BB is reading Little Owl's Bedtime, written by Debbie Galori. Little Owl was snuggled up with Mommy Owl, sharing a bedtime story. It was late o'clock. Then all the little bunnies closed their eyes and fell fast asleep. The end, said Mommy. Now it's your turn, Little Owl. Close your eyes and... No, said Little Owl. No, no, no. No, said Mommy Owl. No, said Little Owl. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want the end. I want another story. Mommy Owl blinked. If I read you one more story, she said, promise me you'll snuggle down and go to sleep. It's very late for Little Owls. Little Owl nodded. Mommy Owl read Little Owl another story. Then all the little field mice closed their eyes and fell fast asleep. The end. Good night, Little Owl, Mommy whispered. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, said Little Owl. But Little Owl's pillow was too lumpy. Little Owl's quilt was too hot. Little Owl's eyes refused to stay shut. It was very dark. Mommy, Little Owl cried. It's too dark. Oh, Little Owl, said Mommy Owl. It has to be dark so that nobody can see the very shy frogs when they come out to sing in the bashful frog chorus. I can't hear them, said Little Owl. That's probably because they're very shy, said Mommy Owl. Look, here's a tiny nightlight for you. It's so small, even a very shy frog wouldn't mind you using it. Good night, Little Owl. Little Owl closed his eyes. His pillow was even lumpier than before. Little Owl wriggled and squirmed. Suddenly, Little Owl had an awful thought. Mommy, he cried, I've lost Hedge and I can't sleep without her. Oh, little owl, sighed Mommy. Hedge has probably gone to pick up a midnight snack at the Acorn Bakery. Found her, said little owl. Look, she was hiding under my pillow. Phew, said Mommy. Good night, little owl. And Hedge, said Little Owl. Night, night, Hedge, said Mommy Owl. Now both of you go to sleep. Hedge fell asleep at once. Little Owl tried to go to sleep. He tried really hard, but there was a noise. Mommy, what's the noise? Squeaked Little Owl. Mommy listened. Is that the song of the bashful frogs? No, said Little Owl. It's a sort of quiet, snorty kind of noise. Oh, little owl, whispered Mommy Owl. I know exactly what that is. It's the sound of little butterflies snoring in their flower beds. So sweet. We're so lucky to hear them. Good night, little owl, said Mommy Owl again. And all was quiet until... Mommy! cried Little Owl. I'm too hot. I'm hungry. I've got to go. Oh, Little Owl, said Mommy. Look, you've woken up Hedge. Poor Hedge. Let's tuck her back in. Mommy, said Little Owl. Yes, Little Owl, sighed Mommy Owl. I can't fall asleep because I'm too excited about seeing Grandma and Grandpa Owl tomorrow. My dear little owl, said Mommy Owl, shall I tell you a secret? Tomorrow will come much faster when you fall asleep. Really? Little owl yawned. I promise, said Mommy. You forgot to give me a kiss, said little owl. Silly Mommy, said Mommy Owl. I love you, little owl. Love you too, Mommy, said little owl. Little owl settled down with Hedge. 
I'll read you one more story, Hedge, but you have to promise to go to sleep afterwards because the faster you go to sleep, the faster tomorrow will come. And tomorrow, we're going to see Grandma Al and Grandpa Al. Little Al turned off his nightlight. It's dark, but I'm right here beside you. Little Al tucked Hedge in. That sound, it's just Mommy Al singing in the tub. Night, night, Hedge. Sleep tight. Little Al couldn't wait for tomorrow to begin. He closed his eyes extra tight, pulled the quilt up to his chin, and snuggled deep into his pillow with a huge, happy yawn. Mommy Al tiptoed in for one last kiss. Sweet dreams, little Al. The end.